Come on, guys, pump them. Pump them, guys. There we go. Keep your head above water. Head above water, guys. All right. about head movement guys something you guys need to work on <laughs> you guys need to work on head movement I'll be hitting you guys too much I'm not so much because in MMA uh, a lot of times when you're covering by start getting her to cover I have opportunity to take shots and stuff like that. Pairing and keep your feet moving, so that way you can kind of see stuff coming. But in some scenarios, you're not going to have uh, enough time to react or, or create distance, and you're going to have to use your hands to, to, to return. So we're just going to work some real basic stuff. It's actually when Joe Schilling was here for a seminar. Um, he taught a seminar here, and he, and he, he went over something that he likes to use uh, to deal with the straight right. So when, when Taylor throws the right hand, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on your forehead here, okay? creating a bar that's gonna keep the, 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 the punch from hitting your head. Now, as, as she drives through with the punch, I'm just gonna slide my hand up. And what that does is, one, it blocks the punch, and two, it redirects the punch in an upward position. Just like when we parry punches, like when she throws the jab, I'm just redirecting the punch. I'm not trying to, throw, I'm not trying to stop the punch. Throw that like trip. I'm just redirecting the punch. Okay, kind of the same thing with this with the technique. So when she throws the right hand, I just kind of deflect that punch up. And what happens is, as, as we block that right hand and draw it up, it becomes a little pocket that opens up. And in that pocket is where we throw the counter right. 